consider Eric Freen extremely armed and dangerous. He has a criminal history and even served time in the Schuyler County Jail a few years back. Our dealings with Eric Freen uh, started in September of 2004. This is a photo of Eric Freen from the Schuyler County Sheriff's Department. In 2004, Freen was accused of stealing World War II memorabilia from war reenactors near Odessa. He then tried selling some of the stolen items on eBay. Freen was arrested and released, but he failed to show up for his day in court. In 2006, authorities tracked him down in Pennsylvania and arrested him. He was extradited back to New York, then jailed in Schuyler County. He spent about 109 days in the Schuyler County Jail. Uh, we had no issues with him. Uh, there is no uh, reports in his jail file that would say he was a disciplinary issue or had any mental health issues. Uh, I think the only thing I saw in there was a request for him for a haircut while he was here and uh, he was released and that was the last we knew of Eric Freen. Freen is now wanted for much more. In this recent picture, his face is now etched into the minds of law enforcement officials across the country. It is extremely dangerous. We have no idea where he is in the community. He has been described as a survivalist. He has a lot of training in that particular area. Freen is believed to be armed with two high-powered rifles and he has in-depth weapons training. And police are not taking any chances. Right now, a massive manhunt is underway in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania State Police are piecing together a profile of a man they're calling a killer. Bella is extremely dangerous. We have no idea where he is in the community. Police are scouring the dense and rugged terrain in northeastern Pennsylvania for a seventh day, hoping to flush out Eric Freen, the prime suspect in the killing of one state trooper and the wounding of another outside their blooming.